guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah. I make a lot of special fix tutorials, mostly around Halloween time, some beauty tutorials, and a little bit of DIY in between. For today's video, I'm going to be going into all of the ways that I use liquid lipstick as more than just a liquid lipstick. Although that is included in today's tutorials, but we will get into that. A lot of makeup people really generally know is more on the expensive side of things, and I thought even if you are dealing with a cheaper brand of makeup, maybe not like Wish makeup or anything like that, because I would not do a lot of these things with anything from like Wish or AliExpress or anything like that because you would never really know. Some brands tend to be a little bit more expensive with their makeup. So I thought maybe I should do a video kind of like on multiple ways to utilize your makeup for more than just one thing. People use a lot of brushes for different things, why not use makeup for different things? So in today's video I'll be going over five different ways to use your liquid lipsticks as more than just liquid lipstick. And so there is a tutorial in this video of course, but also it is what I am wearing on my face right now that actually utilizes all of these lipsticks as more than just a liquid lipstick. So just as a disclaimer before I actually get like too much into the video is make sure that any liquid lipsticks or any makeup at all that you are using on your face more than just maybe on your lips, etc., is eye safe. All these lipsticks are from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, which he has specifically specified that they are eye safe, so you can use them in your immediate eye area. So do keep that in mind that with any liquid lipstick, if you do use it for any of these uses, make sure they're eye safe, because I don't want you guys to get any eye infections or anything like that, so just keep that in mind, please. So let's get into it. For my eyeliner today, I used Diva from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So the first big way besides actually using a liquid lipstick as a liquid lipstick that I use it for is as an eyeliner. It depends obviously on the liquid lipstick that you're actually getting into. Me, I usually use very smooth liquid lipsticks, not like any metallics or anything like that. Metallics are a little bit more difficult to use during this because they have a little bit of a thicker consistency, I find. For example, Restraints from Jeffree Star Cosmetics or Thirst Trap. I find that anything that's more metallic is a little bit too thick in consistency to actually use as a eyeliner. With that being said, it is more difficult, but it is possible. I, I find it super cool to actually get that metallic eye look as an eyeliner. You just have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry, but your girl's impatient and she ain't gonna wait for something that she doesn't have to wait for. <laughs> the second way that I use a liquid lipstick as, again, not a liquid lipstick, we're gonna be hearing that a lot in this video, is as a mascara. On my lower lash line, I did use restraints as my mascara. You can definitely apply these multiple different ways. You can either apply it straight from the actual applicator of the liquid lipstick or you can use kind of like a disposable mascara one. I find that wastes a little bit more product than just applying it straight from the applicator, but completely up to you, obviously. Again, as any liquid lipstick, it's going to take longer to dry than any mascara. I usually tend to put it on my bottom lash line as almost like a pop of color except for today which I almost used it as almost like a muted tone to the rest of the eye look because it is more of a vivid eye look seeing as how there's a pop of color on the bottom. The third way that you can use a liquid lipstick again as not just a liquid lipstick is as an inner corner highlight or actually really any base to put down an eyeshadow on top of it because it's going to have that couple minutes or so of stick so it's a lot easier plus it's pretty easy to blend out as you guys may know if you do any like lip art or anything like that liquid lipsticks are intensely easy to blend out 
I am thinking about doing a video about this in the future, but for now I will leave a link in the description box down below to Jay Kiss's video on mixing liquid lipsticks. I find that that might be helpful for you guys in any sort of way. But the liquid lipstick I used on my inner corner here as a base is Queen Supreme. As I have mentioned quite a bit in this video, obviously, because this is what the video is about, you can use liquid lipsticks as so much more than just liquid lipstick. But I also wanted to mention that you can use it as a liquid lipstick, but in a different way. As I just mentioned, I will leave Jay Kiss's video in the description box down below, and I may do one of these in the future, but I really like mixing liquid lipsticks to create different colors. So that is another way that you can utilize either multiple lipsticks to create a color instead of buying a whole another color, or you can just use them as to make your own kind of color to match with your eye makeup look better. I have not actually mixed any liquid lipsticks to get this color. This color is just Cherry Wet again by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And the fifth and final way that I use liquid lipsticks as more than just a liquid lipstick is as a lip topper, which kind of seems almost pretty much the same as it was before, but it's more along the lines of using it as a topper just to put a little bit on your lip and then dab it on, and it just gives it a little bit more of whatever color that is of a sheen, which I find incredibly helpful when you just want maybe to add a little bit more to your lip color if you're wearing like a nude with a bold look or anything like that. You just, you don't want to overpower the look, but you also just kind of want to add a little bit more into it. But that is it for today's video. I did hope you guys enjoyed And if you guys have any other like tips and tricks on how to use liquid lipstick, obviously completely safe for whatever part of the body you're putting on, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.